Welcome to the review of the Soviet Type 3 M1974 Kalashnikov bayonet. The Type 3 was developed for the latest AKMs in the AK-74 series, and it was introduced to the Red Army in 1974, and it is still commonly seen in the Russian military today. The main reason it outlasted its predecessors is that, like most Soviet military gear, it is tough, rugged, and built to last. Sticking the knife out of the scabbard reveals a 6 inch stainless steel spear type blade with the serrated cuttings on top and a much sharper blade below. Looking down one can now see the steel muzzle ring which on both sides should have production stamps. The grip however is a new style composed of bakelite plastic and a steel pommel held by one large screw. The need for a steel pommel was discovered by the older version 2 AKM bayonet because the older full Bakelite grip tended to crack when it was used as a hammer and would need replacement. The scabbard is mainly Bakelite with a steel wire cutting attachment on the end and a thin metal sheath on the inside. The most important part of the scabbard is the one on seed. The sheath holds in the blade with a series of compression springs. The Type 3 bayonet is not just a bayonet, but also a knife, a saw, a screwdriver, a hammer, and a wire cutter. Using the bayonet as a wire cutter is easier than it sounds. Simply place the blade saw side up and place it on top of the rectangular stud into the rectangular hole so that it should slide freely in place. Next, just stick the wire that needs to be cut in the little indent and close the hole using the blade. See, it should cut. Simple. To mount the bayonet on an AK-74 series rifle, all you need to do is line up the pommel with this little nub underneath the sight and then using the uh, muzzle ring up here you're going to want to go over the muzzle and as far back as the birdcage flash hider. Once you do that and it stays stuck on you have yourself a mounted bayonet. As one can see by the Izmash stamp my type 3 is of Soviet production but a handful of other countries have or do produce lower quality clones including the Circle 10 factory in Bulgaria, former East Germany Egypt, China, Iraq, Poland, and even former Yugoslavia.